All right, guys, if you guys are asking about my med kit that I run on my range belt, so I wanted to show you what it is today. Um, this is from my medic. I'm just going to unpin it from my belt here and put that aside. Okay, so this is the my medic personal um, first aid kit. I think they call it a solo. The solo is what they call it. So it comes in a bunch of different pouch colors. I've added a few things. We'll go over that. We'll go over what comes in the basic kit. But I got to tell you, their website is by far like the nicest looking website. Um, as far as like what's included, I mean, if you go inside, if you're shopping on their website and you look at that ah, glare is pretty bad, there we go. And you see, you know, want to see what's included in the kit instead of just listing crap off like most people do. Look at these, they got pictures, they've got um, really detailed like descriptions of everything that's included. I mean, just so nice, so nice. So go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, so what this is the uh, red pouch. I'll just go over the pouch real quick. So you got your outside um mesh pocket here and then you have a pull tab here which is uh, oversized and it's got a nice little first aid indicator you've also got hook and loop right here and inside i've got an israeli bandage which i added now it does come with um a lot of these things like the scissors and everything there is an advanced version of this also that you can get that has a, a rat's tourniquet which i have in here and a quick claw which i have in here i added those myself um it also comes with a large bandage Secure, uh, steri strips, gauze roll, but the basic kit, what they sent me, um, I'll go over that. So I'll take out the items that I, that I added. So I added the three things. I'll just leave the tourniquet in the front, but all of this is included. So let's pull it out and take a look at it. You've got tons of space um, in here and it's nicely laid out, high quality pouch. Um, the pouch is made in China. Everything else is U.S. based. Um, all the materials and or the other things in here. So, okay. So you get some nitrile gloves. You get a little package here full of um, hand sanitizer. Ooh, that stuff's like gold right now. Band aids. Um, let's go over each individual thing. So you have medications like Benadryl, Advil. You're gonna get Tylenol, Advil, and Benadryl which is really good to have, especially if you have an allergic reaction with Benadryl. I think people don't think about that one. Um, you got burn gel. Got some oral pain relief. You got a whole like little pack of sunscreen and lotion, uh, burn shields. And so you got a really nice, I like how everything's nicely organized. Comes with paracord. Comes with a whistle and super skin. Right here. That's this stuff right here, liquid skin. You got a whistle here. So I guess if you're taking this outdoors, you know, throw it in your pack kind of first aid kit, it would work really well for that. I've been using it as a range kit, but whatever. You can use it for whatever. Um, it also has tweezers, which are actually really high quality, by the way. These are good quality tweezers. I think a lot of times you get cheap stuff in these kind of kits. Uh, you got some EMT shears here. They're smaller, but they are pretty beefy. So those are good. You can definitely need those. I uh, got natural gloves and you got um, topical guides like topical creams, anti itch, paws, lip balm, oral pain relief, dynamite, which we talked about, antibiotic ointment, and sunscreen. You also get this stuff here sodium chloride as well. So, a lot of good stuff that comes in this kit. And you have these. Uh, button closures here to hook onto a pack or just throw it in your pack or you put on a range belt like i did um works really well and you have an internal pouch here internal pouch here and then you've got a few of these uh almost um elastic keepers here for pens or whatever um so what i added so it comes with all this and the and the pouch i added a sharpie marker i added a rat's tourniquet and i added a quick clock sponge and an Israeli bandage. So like I said, I carry this on the range belt in case I need to do first aid. Things I might add in the future is a chest seal and a nasal airway. Um, you can get the kit with those things included um, in advanced. So you can get uh, for the basic kits, 50 bucks. Uh, for the advanced kit, it's $100. You do get the chest seal, the quick clot, the tourniquet, the needle puller, um, and a couple other items. The god, the steri strips, and the gauze roll. So you can, 
you can essentially build this out though. Like guys, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy the basic, just buy a, a tourniquet, a click clot sponge, and you're pretty you're in a nasal airway and a um, chest seal, and you're good. You don't fifty bucks extra seems like a lot more. I'm gonna be honest um, for those items. So you could add those. Now I have a lot of this stuff. I have a lot of medical around, so I just pieced together a kit and added it myself. Now, a lot of the things that it comes with though are really good and it's high quality stuff. Like a lot of times you get these kits and they're like, oh, you know, individual first aid kit and you just get a lot of crap. This has name brand medications, it has really nicely, you know, these are all completely sealed. I've got these <laughs> in non-sealed gloves before, which makes no sense. Um, everything's nicely packaged, really high quality. So you've got a lot of good quality items. You don't ever see sodium chloride in first aid kits. Oh, you do actually get some secure trips with the, uh, some sturdy strips with the basic kit as well. I thought that was the only part of the advanced. And then you have some gauze bandage here. So, so like I said, I added a quick clot here. I've got here on the top and grab it really fast and easy. And I've got an Israeli bandage that I kind of just set right here and everything fits in there. And I leave the tourniquet on the outside because I need to get to it quickly. So, so I run this on a range belt. Um, it's honestly a little big for that purpose. They do offer a range kit as well that has like a pull away, which I like the idea of that. Um, but really like, I'd like to see a, hor a horizontal mounting option. You can only do vertical. I'd like to keep, carry it like that and just have access to, um, you know, a tourniquet, a quick clot and maybe a chest seal not have it be that, you know, cause when I'm thinking range use, I'm thinking gunshot wound and some of the stuff in here ain't going to help you with that. Um, but some of it obviously will. So that's what I, um, what I carry in my range belt guys. I want to, my medic sent this out to me for review. Um, it's a high quality pouch. It's high quality materials included. You're getting high quality medical guys. Um, don't, don't skimp on your medical supplies. Like they need to be high quality and make sure you're, you know, keeping up on your training on that. Um, I need to go get recertified. I've been first aid certified for many years and I need to do another recertification here pretty soon. So, all right guys, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.